Myasthenia gravis is a type of autoimmune disease. It stops nerve signals that normally travel to certain muscles. This causes the muscles to become weak. The muscles tend to get weaker during periods of activity and get stronger after periods of rest. There is no cure for NG, but long-term remission is possible. Remission is a period of time with no symptoms. NG can affect people of any age or ethnic group, but it is more common in people in their 20s, 60s, and 70s. NG is caused by a problem in a person's immune system. In a person with NG, the immune system produces abnormal types of disease-fighting proteins called antibodies, which attack the nerve muscle junction. These links are called neuromuscular junctions. The nerves then can't get signals to the muscles they control, and as a result, the muscles don't work properly. The main symptom of NG is muscle weakness. The muscle weakness can range from mild to severe depending on which muscles are affected. NG may cause trouble speaking, chewing, and swallowing. Weakness in the neck, arms, and legs, shortness of breath, especially along with swallowing or neck movements. Weakness, tiredness, and droopy eyelids, and irregular eye movements, which can cause double vision. The healthcare provider will ask about your health, history, and symptoms. He or she will check your muscle strength and examine your vision, chewing, and swallowing. You may also have certain tests, these include blood tests, imaging tests, and muscle tests. He'll check for certain cells or antibodies in the blood, and an imaging test called magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, uses magnets and radio waves to take pictures of your body and look for problems. A nerve conduction velocity, or NCV test helps to check nerve and muscle function. Small, round disc electrodes are attached to wires and put on the skin over certain nerves and muscles. They control a brief electrical current that is sent to the nerves. The test shows how long it takes for the muscles to act on the nerve signal. An electromyogram, or EMG, test may be done to check nerve and muscle function. Small needle electrodes are placed into muscles in the arms or legs. The test shows the electrical activity of the muscles and their activity and at rest. This is often done at the same time as the NCV test. Lastly, you may have an edrophonium test. This is to help check muscle strength. It involves having an injection of a medicine called edrophonium chloride. If you have a sudden but temporary improvement in muscle strength after the injection, it's likely you have myasthenia gravis. For instance, his or her eyelids might be less droopy for short term. If your test sets confirm that you have NG, your provider can talk about the treatment options that are right for you. These may include medications, blood therapies, or surgery. Medication can help improve muscle weakness. Some treat the problems at the neuromuscular junction. Others help stop the immune system from making abnormal antibodies. You may also be given special blood products that help with the body's abnormal immune response, these treatments are called plasma exchange and high-dose IVIG. These are mainly used when a severe attack of MG occurs and you need to be in the hospital. Or you may have surgery to remove the thymus gland in a person with MG. The thymus gland is more likely to be enlarged or abnormal in some cases, removing the gland may help symptoms go away. If you have NG, try to keep up a daily exercise program as advised by your healthcare provider and physical therapists, they'll teach you the best exercises to help strengthen your muscles. Expect daily changes in your energy level plan. Your daily activities should revolve around the times when you feel more energetic, and you should take your medication exactly as directed. Do not start new medications without checking with your healthcare provider. Make sure to have regular follow-up visits with your healthcare provider. Go to the emergency room or call 911 if you have severe breathing or swallowing problems. In the next video we will learn about the abnormal lung sounds in COPD patients. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and support us to learn more.